Oh, this is the last one for the biker. Number four for biker. Oh, down he goes. And he's alive still. God, how many attempts does it have to take to kill a radiated? Oh, he stopped beating on my shit down there. I see your bike. He's just down there breaking some shit. Stop that and come back up the ramp, you big green fuck. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Joel Woodle, and welcome back once again to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17.1, where I am back cruising around Joel Woodle Park, looking at all the creations I have done, hanging out over by the very newly named The Zombie Stapler. Thank you to Arctic Fox for giving me that name. I've decided to actually make good on my promise from a long time ago. I'm going to put a pinned comment in the bottom of this video, asking for names for all of my different creations. Every creation in Joel Woodle Park needs needs a name. So I've named this one. This one is called the Zombie Stapler because it looks like a stapler apparently. It made me laugh, therefore it gets its official title put up on a little podium. So if you could think of a good name for any of these things that I have built throughout the world, other than the ones that already have names obviously like Jalabs and what the, the Blenders and all those kind of things. If you could think of anything good to name these things then absolutely shoot me a comment and tell me what it should be. And if I laugh, you get it cold that thing. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Why I am here is because I just put out the video on the uh, the simple horde base with like the poles and the little cube kind of I don't know how else to describe it because it doesn't have a name yet when things don't have names It's hard to talk about them So I just put the video out for that and people were suggesting different ways that I could uh, you know improve upon it. And I thought you know what? I think I need to revisit that design and make it complete, well not completely differently, but kind of expand upon it a little bit more and make it just a little bit more safe. So I'm moving out of Jaboodle Park because I'm going across the street, which means this is no longer part of the official park territory. Anyone can come over here and trash the shit. There are no park rangers over here patrolling and protecting from zombie douchebags. So I'm going to build it over here and I think I'm going to make something out of plates and bars and poles. Just out of wood, just the basic stuff to start with to test the concept because I like making things things for the first horde night when you don't have all the resources under the sun. So I'm going to make that, see how I go, and if it works out well, then I might upgrade it to like concrete or something. So here's the basic idea. Instead of with the last one where you're relying on the zombies to run up and kind of jump up against the bars and not be able to make it in, uh, I've decided I'm going to try and make uh, like make good on some of my promises in the comments that, that I was going to test out this base design, and that is to make a floating plate base. People have suggested it before, but never got around to doing it, and after putting out that last video, I felt like this was the next logical step up. I didn't want to put it like that. But that's kind of how it works. You can see the plates hover on top of each other. So if you have a bunch of plates on the bottom, if I just finish up the square here, if you have a bunch of plates on the bottom, seeing as they take up the bottom, like, it, it's not even eighth, really, is it? Like the bottom 16th? The bottom very small portion. There we go, we'll use that one. The technical term. The, bo the bottom little -nth of the block. Uh, if you can get the, the plate and put it on the other side of that block, like that, then you can get a nice big gap between you and the zombies. A big enough gap that you can almost, almost walk underneath. I mean, you can if you crouch. You kind of like just like smoosh your forehead against the, the wood boards underneath, graze off your scalp. I mean, you don't have to shave again, but you also won't have to feel the, like the touch of hair again. Save a bunch of money on like apocalypse uh, hair wax, that's for sure. But if you put them all like this, then you can build on top. And as far as the game is concerned, this is 100% structurally sound. There is nothing here. That, there's, uh, it's not like the drawbridge hovering base or or floating base where you know you're working like within the bounds of the physics engine as far as the game's concerned this is just one solid base looking at this now there's no way this should be able to work like how are the things that they've patched out in this game like some of the things have gone through and made obsolete like with the zombie ai how could they leave something like this still in there's no way this should work but people have asked for it therefore i'm going to test it so miss arlene as always if you wouldn't mind would you get your ass over here and come and try and fuck me up because we really use your wait before you before you do that actually we need we need the we, we need the better camera angle we'll go over here and we're gonna go over like just like there okay so now we can see what actually happens arlene come over here please what are you gonna do you're just, you're just gonna cruise around underneath yep right okay Oh, they're beating on something. I'm, okay, I'm going to let them hit a couple of times because I want to know what blocks are actually destroying because that, that would be useful information to me. Nope, they're just, they're just chilling. Okay, so they get distracted. They get bored. They go wandering off. You have to get their attention. Oh, shit. Okay, they're breaking stuff. That's enough. That's enough, Arlene. Thank you. Okay, so they do swipe up. They do swipe up ever so slightly. So how are you supposed to? This is the thing that people didn't put in the comments. They're like, hey, you can build like a, a, a plate base. But I was, I was thinking to myself, and now Arlene has proved it. How are you supposed to kill the zombies when they're underneath you? Like, what? what's... Oh, wait. 
Maybe if I make like a big donut. But a big donut out of plates on the outside, put the center panel as all like hatches, not not hatches, like even just like bars, and then look down and shoot them through the bars. That might work perfectly. When I started out this build, this was absolutely nothing like what I was intending it to be. I was thinking I'd just make something small, like a small little cube, but hovering off the ground. It's like, so the reason I wanted to remake it was because with the last like easiest base, uh, easiest horde base, was the dogs were a bit of a problem. They could sometimes get through the bars and come and cause us some problems. I was like, all right, I need to make a dog defense. What's better than a dog? Or what better dog defense is there other than just not being within the reach of the dogs? So it's gone from that to immediately being something completely different. That's what I love about seven days. You just, sometimes you gotta let your, create, your, your creative juices flow and you end up with completely different ideas that you probably didn't even think was possible to start with. So if I start with something like this, can I make, can I like maybe put like some stairs or something leading to like something up in the middle so that I'm even more protected? So like, I don't think the zombies can hit three blocks up. So if they're down here cruising on the dirt, can I hit up that high? I don't think so. So if I make another little raised platform out of this, then I'm sure that uh, I will be safe from all sorts of zombie badness trying to fuck my day up. I know it doesn't strictly line up with my whole like early game materials only kind of thing, but I needed to put some poles on there to make it look all nice and aesthetic and symmetrical because symmetricality matters and aesthetics matters as well. So with that, you can have like a little platform up the top to make it nice and safe for you with all the zombies running around down below. So if I spawn in a couple more Arlene's, let's get a bunch of them out there. Zombie Arlene Feral, thank you very much. You go all the way over here right, uh, right, right about there so we can actually see what she's doing underneath there see what kind of mischief she gets up to so i'm chilling out on top of my base happy as larry i get my pistol out and i go boom arlene please come over here what are you gonna do what are you gonna do now you just you, oh, yeah, confused confused running in circles taking swings at random things can't find me going into destroy everything mode but not seeming to do any damage to anything She's, a, she's very, very confused about this. So while this is all going on, I can just cruise down here and be like, yo, what up? Oh, she keeps running around underneath her. And there she's breaking stuff. No. Okay. Okay. So the destroy everything mode is good because while you're down below, they can follow you around. I can still get to you. That's going to make it a bit hard to defend, but I'm sure I can still figure out a way to do it. All right. That's enough of that. No, nope, that was debug menu. Still need that. Kill all. Kill all the Arlene's and let's fix what they just destroyed. I've replaced all of the floor on the second level with bars that I can shoot through with this brand new shotgun that I just gave myself. Because maybe I have to actively defend the base a little bit more than just standing around hoping Arlene you know, doesn't do too much damage. So if you come over here, Arlene, come on, if, over, over this way. There you go. Thank you, darling. If she, she comes over here, like, is she just going to run under here and like, stand still? Like, am I going to have an, e like, an easy chance to kill her? Or is she? Okay, she stands still for a second and then goes off into destroy mode. So this is... I mean, I'm not the best shot at the best of times. This is going to be real hard to hit her if she's running around in circles all the time. It also would help if I had some actual ammo in the shotgun. Okay, this one. As soon as she stops, that'll do. Boom. Nail her. Nail her. Okay. The shot's a little hard to take. I mean, it's a pretty high risk of me completely missing and doing more damage to this than the zombies will, considering I'm using a, like, a pretty, pretty decent shotgun. All right, that felt a bit better. Hmm. Mm -mm. There's got to be a better way. I mean, I'm safe. Like, I'm very much safe up here. There's no risk to me, but maybe there's a way I can take care of the zombies without having to actually, like, step in and do it myself. I quickly just threw together a bit of a base on top of the top platform just to kind of give you guys an idea of, like, what you can kind of do. Like, sure, it's a bit of a tower. It's not the prettiest thing ever, but, like, it, it'll work. You could sit up here, and I'm, I'm going to test this. You could sit up here and watch the horde roll in and be in relative safely, safety, rather, provided you could figure out a way to kill all the zombies down below. Now, you could just bang on a turret or a bunch of spikes or... You know, any of that kind of boring stuff. But I think this is a perfect opportunity, given, like, just like the floating base over there, just like any floating base, given they want to run right to the center. I think this is a perfect opportunity to build a good old fall base. So if I just go, like, uh, just go, like, a bunch down there, and then I go for this one, go Z on that bit, and go all the way down the bottom of this hole, and press Z down there. K, don't prefabs, clear, uh, clear selection. Boom, look at that. Who even needs to dig holes anymore? Who needs to spend time going around with an auger or a gun and like shooting away all the all the blocks you can do it in like three button presses that's so much better oh boy that's a deep hole that is a 25 block deep hole uh that i've dug out because the zombies take well they take a third damage the max damage i can take is a third of their health bar which starts at 
25 blocks, that's a, that's a long way down. This is a long, long way down. Now, somehow, I need to make a way for them to get out. Because if I can make just a constant fall trap, three falls should kill any zombie instantly. So if I can make this a triple fall trap, then I should be pretty right to go. Uh, let's, let's think about this. This is all stone here. I don't want to dig through here, because that's all sand, and that'll all cave in, and that'll be bad. So uh, this way, this is the direction I'm going to go, and I'm going to make myself... There's some sort of ramp all the way back up to the surface. Maybe a spiral ramp around the outside, around the outside. So that then they can run all the way around and come back and fall in here again. However, zombies don't like corners very much. They may get stuck halfway and start beating on my shit. Maybe just one big straight ramp is the way to go. Look at that. Now you could totally put some like, like blade traps or, or spark traps, whatever you want, at the bottom of this to do some extra damage. But that requires repair and effort. And I just can't bother doing that right now. So instead, 25 blocks down, they take the maximum damage they can, which is one third they run up this ramp back up here up to this clearing run back down this shoot of death which i can pick them off from the top if i really feel like it and back down they go into the bottom of the, the bowels of the earth to take some more damage now i'm going to test this uh just as is and see if i need to actually put any like extra uh like blocks or something over the top of this to make them more willing to fall like i did with the floating base of the drawbridges but i'm hoping i don't have to and hopefully this will be self-sustainable as is so let's get the camera angle going one. Um, actually, you know what? You know what's a better camera angle for this? This one. Let's go, like, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see everything that's going on. First of all, I need to spawn in a bunch of Arlene. So, uh, there, I'll put, a, I'll put a bunch over there. There we go. Turn off their AI so they don't come fuck me up too soon. Now, if I just sit like that and go, yep, that would be perfect. Fly over here to my base and up into it like that. No, no, down, down. There we go. Okay. You can see me inside. You can see me. Oh, well, you could normally have to see my little helmet light. Eh, eh. There I am. There I am. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, I over there okay so arlene if you could please come and test out my brand new base go go yeah okay good they're running towards me they're running yep they're coming 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 and fall down please fall down please fall down arlene please fall down you bitch oh oh one, one of them got knocked over still didn't fall over though Damn it, they're not going to go down. Okay, I need I need some extra. I need some extra juice. I need some extra little love to get them down into the pit. So in the end, I did have to put a little bit of mustard, a little bit of love just on the inside to get them to think that it's a viable path. So some uh, wedge tips and corners and stuff like that on the inside. I've done this before. This isn't the particular new part. What I am doing, well, like what the new part is, is seeing if I can stand in that little box just up there and do nothing and survive the Horde Knight. I think I'll be able to. I'm not sure if I have to replace those poles up there with like bulletproof glass or something to protect from like zombies and, and cops and stuff like that. But I think as long as uh, as long as I'm out of sight, the cops won't throw uh, vomit at me. So if I'm just down here cruising around, hopefully they'll all fall through, fall to the death three times. Oh, 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 shit, damn it. Ow. Okay. So it takes off a fair bit of time. Yeah, but three times down here, and they'll be dead. Then they can run all the way back up here. It takes a long time to get up here, which is fine. I mean, I'm not, I don't really worry about how long it takes to get back to the surface, because eventually they'll get back up here, run over here, immediately try to kill me, and fail miserably. And with, like, the top-notch parkour uh, perk, I don't even have to build a way into here. I just go, hop, and jump straight up here and get on with my life. So let's get up into the tippy-toppy room and uh, get the horde rolling and see if I can... And not touch any keys and survive the whole time. I've got my camera angle set up. You can see me in the top of the little base over there. Yep, there I am. Okay, so we can see all the way down the drop, all the way up the ramp, and back to me. So let's get uh let's go let's go day 14 and we'll go right to the end to day yep day, they're just there let's make it a little bit faster i don't want to sit here forever waiting let's go let's go like speed 22 so if you had a shorter um bloody horde night going on this is what you'd be facing okay let's do that the zombies are already spawning over there make sure i got their attention okay let's let's just crouch up here and hope to god no one sees me okay here comes the first radio this is a radiator biker yep no nope, nothing boom straight down into the guts there's some damage for here. I mean, I wish I should put some lights in because it's fucking dark. Let me just real quick boost the gamma so we can actually see what's happening because I can't see dick. So all the allotted zombies for this horde are down in the hole. I haven't done anything yet. They're all just like kangaroo hopping back up the ramp. I wasn't expecting them to have to do that. I thought they would just run. Maybe it's a bit too steep. I don't really care. They can spend as much time down there as they want because I want to be off doing other things. I want to be off like, you know, working on my forge or crafting things or not having to worry about the, the, the horde outside 
anyway, this is an AFK base. I don't want to have to think about the zombies. I just want to be safe in my tower. And I think by the looks of it, I'm going to be. Yep, he ran straight back and went straight back down the hole. That's two for Radiator Biker. What about Darlene? Darlene, down she goes. Boom! Yep, break, breaking her ankles. That's two broken knees for everyone. The next one breaks their spine. Well, come one, come all. Come join my carnival ride and fall to your fucking death. Here comes Radiator Biker for his third drop. This should be it. Down he goes and... Oh, oh, no, he survived, but Darlene did not. No, that Darlene. Okay, so the radiators take more, but regular zombies take three drops. Uh, blah, dead. It's just splatter on the ground, which has like a, a great, satisfying, like, juicy, wet, sloppy sound effect for them breaking their ankles down the bottom. There's a spider over there. Oh, how's he going to do? I mean, I wish I could have two camera angles. I wish I have this one and then, like, a remote one looking at the base itself that I could, like, put picture in picture up in the corner opposite my face so we have a better view of what's going on. But I don't have that capability. The spider zombie has fallen down. Don't have to worry about spiders at all. I'm going to wait for some puppies to show up and see how they go. I'm going to test this with bears and dogs as well. But just see how it handles a horde knot at the same time. Still haven't touched a key. I'm still safe as houses up there. Oh, this is the last one for the biker. Number four for biker. Oh, down he goes. And he's alive still. God, how many attempts does it have to take to kill a radiated? Oh, he stopped beating on my shit down there. I see your bike. He's just down there breaking some shit. Stop that and come back up the ramp, you big green fuck. I've turned on zombie stats so I can see what they're doing. And yeah, the so the, radi the radiators heal, which is really annoying. So he's back to 950 out of 1,000. So they may never actually die from because it just takes them too long to get back up to the top. So maybe if I had a quicker way, like a ladder or something, for them to just climb straight back up and keep going around and around and around, maybe I'd be able to kill them. Because uh, with each drop, what's he down to? 888. So he's slowly going down. But yeah, they heal, which is not... I mean, that's not the most ideal thing for automatically killing them. But all the other ones will die eventually. Just gotta, just gotta be patient. I've got almost all radiators now because they're the hardest to kill. There's one big fat mama left. The rest of it, there's one dude over there beating on my base. No, stop. There we go. Okay, good. There we go. They might, might get a couple swings in, but that's okay. You're supported by all the other blocks. It's not relying on one block anymore. You've got that whole system keeping you up, uh, afloat. Oh. Oh, there is the satisfying morning charm telling me that I have survived the night without doing anything to anyone. It, uh, the radiators did actually end up dying eventually down the bottom of the hole. So eventually, once, uh, I mean, they'll fall down in there enough that some of them will die. But now that I know that I can survive a pretty decent horde with a bunch of radiators, let's put in a bunch of dogs and a bunch of bears. And before you get too mad at me, let's go off and fix up the camera angles so I can see what happens to you guys as well. Right about there, that'll do. So if I can survive the horde, and I can survive zombie bears and zombie dogs, then this is like the ultimate AFK base, yeah? Like, surely. I mean, this isn't what I wanted to make when I first started out with this. I'll make that in another episode. But like, this should work out pretty well. So the big, here come the bears, the bears are cruising over, here come the dogs, souls go straight down, the bears are causing so many issues, they're stuck on each other and fucking shit up. The dogs died like immediately. Oh, there they go. So some bears go down, some bears don't. They kind of got like their back stuck. If they make it underneath the platform, which they're trying to do, they do actually end up falling. But when they're stuck there on each other, having five zombie bears probably wasn't a great idea. But when they actually make it in, they fall down too. All right, I'm okay. I mean, even while they're stuck there, they're still not really doing any damage. So I'm okay with them being there as long as they want. Well, there you go. I reckon that's a pretty successful test. Like, it's, it's beat the horde mode, it beat the bears, it beat the dogs, it beat everything I threw at it, and I didn't take a scratch, nor did I have to do anything to actively defend myself. In fact, damage-wise, very, very little. There's a couple of, like, semi-broken blocks, and, like, I put a double layer of, uh, of plates on the inside here, mostly for symmetricality and for aesthetics, because symmetri symmetricality and aesthetics matter, but also it gives you the extra layer of defense that they do manage to break some down below. So, like, for a full for a Horde Knight, that is a surprising little amount of damage. That is a very, very effective AFK base. I'll give it a, a, a lick of paint before I, you know, finish this off, uh, you know, before I call it done, because you got to make it look pretty, but that, that works like a treat. That's an absolute charm. So I'll have to come back and build some other cool bases in Seven Days to Die in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.